Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm bringing a collective haul. During this quarantine, I've been doing way too much online shopping for somebody who's not making enough money to be supporting this habit. But I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys what I've been getting. So I'm just going to get started. The first thing that I actually got, which is kind of what inspired three more items out of this list, is an iPad. I did not purchase this iPad though, so please don't come for me. But my best friend actually surprised me with this one because she got a new one and I usually get her, how do you call it, like, handy downs? I don't remember that word. But whatever, every time she gets something new, I get her old one. And I'm so excited because I've been watching a lot of videos about how to like draw on an iPad and use Procreate and all of these things. So I'm very excited to start learning. I mean, I did start trying it out already, but I'm not that good or like good at all. So I'm excited to practice and get better. So once I got that purchase, I got this pen. In all honesty, she was the one who like told me to get these things. So I got this pen and I love it. It's like super easy to use. I love using this like back part. It makes it very easy to just like look on things. Um, and then I also got this awesome stand. So now I can use my laptop. This is gonna sound so spoiled, but I can watch a TV show on my laptop or work on my laptop and then have my iPad playing a TV show or I don't know, have like a chat open or something. I don't know. I just can have two screens at the same time and I love it. It's like very, very good. It's very sturdy and I like it. I got it from Amazon. It was super cheap too. I'm going to be leaving all the links down below, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but all the links are going to be on the description box in case you want to check something out. Along with those presents, she got me something else because of course I am spoiled. She got me this super cute mug from David Rose. I love it. If you've seen my previous videos, I am obsessed with Sheets Creek. I actually finished it. Like when I recorded the other videos, I hadn't finished it, but I finished it and I was sobbing. What a perfect show. I loved it beginning to end. Like I remember when I started it, my partner told me, oh Sam, like it gets better. No, it was better already. I loved it. Like I absolutely love the show. And the ending was just so iconic. So she got me this mug and it has just like funny sayings from the show. And I'm obsessed with it. Some of the sayings are actually in the polishes that I reviewed not too long ago. So that was another present from her. And then I bought myself from Etsy. I follow Danny Brito on Instagram. He's an artist and I love everything he makes. There's a little bit of a unboxing thing too because there's some stuff that I hadn't opened that I was just waiting for this video. So of course because of coronavirus a lot of shops were doing sales and I got tempted and I purchased a few goodies. So I got this vinyl stickers. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to be doing close-ups of everything though. So I got one that says screaming internally and I absolutely love it. In the Instagram account, I see them putting it on a mirror. I don't remember where is the mirror, but my plan is to put it on my bathroom mirror. I'll be inserting footage like after this clip showing me doing it because I'm going to do this actually tomorrow. I've been waiting like anxiously to get this just to put it there. I think it will be hilarious and it's very me. I love it. I also got another one that says you're doing amazing sweetie but this one is for my best friend hopefully i'm able to give it to her sometime in this lifetime and i got her a sticker that says what's the tea i love that we have like a whole thing about the what's the tea thing
what else did I get? Oh, this is actually kind of like an old purchase because I didn't buy this during quarantine. I bought it during a sale. Light Sable was having a 40% off, I believe, and I took advantage and got some Alamar goodies. So I bought this palette, but it came broken, so I was able to get a replacement, which is why I'm finally using it here. I want to do a tutorial using only Animar products, but I don't have everything. I wish I did, but I'm missing the bronzer and I'm missing... Oh, I think I'm only missing the bronzer because I have the blush, the, pa the first palette. Now I have the second palette. I have a lip liner. Oh, I don't have a lipstick though, but I have the lip liner. And I have... I think that's it. Oh, I have the brushes. I love the brushes. They're so good. And now I have... Okay, now I wanted to just do this in categories since I have like a couple of them. I bought a few nail polishes. Two of them, well, one I won on a live. So Loud Lacquer does lives on Tuesdays and Fridays. And last week, or I believe two weeks ago, I'm, I'm not sure anymore, they were doing a whoever joins the live with them and just like chat for a bit wins a nail polish of a choice from the company. So I went live and I got this one which is so so pretty it's called Suspish I don't know if you can see it but this is the polish it's so so pretty and the previous week they have done a sale during the live sale during the um, live video I'm sorry I was like losing my train of thought and they had a free shipping so I went ahead and I purchased Napa which is a beautiful beautiful purple I love it so much. It's so pretty. I think this might be my favorite shade from the entire like brand. I haven't used them yet, but I swatched them and they're beautiful. So I got this too from Lau Lacquer. And then I got these two from a, from a Facebook sale. So I got Moonshine Money You Basic from the Good Place collection. I don't know if any of you watch the Good Place, but it's such an awesome show. If you like Sheets Creek, then you will like the Good Place. I feel like it's the same type of humor. Um, but this is the polish. I'm slightly butter, butter, slightly bothered by the fact that the bottle is different from the other ones. Like, so I have two other nail polishes from the Good Place collection and the bottle is different and it's driving me insane that they're not the same shape but like whatever I'm still missing two more so I'm hoping I find those and I'm hoping that they are either actually I'm hoping at least one of them is this type of bottle so then I can just have them like match because it's just so disturbing to see different ones and I also got this glam polish called Ravenclaw and I love this polish so much I don't know if I shared this story yet but a couple of weeks or months i'm not sure anymore um time is a little fuzzy right now i was chatting with my boyfriend during lunch and we were talking about the harry potter house and i mentioned to him that i was a gryffindor and he looked at me he's like there's no way you're a gryffindor it was hilarious and i was like what well, took the quiz like last year and he told me i was a gryffindor so like i'm just telling you what i got he was like babe you're a ravenclaw you take that quiz again and you're gonna get a ravenclaw so he took the quiz he guessed he was a hufflepuff so he took it and then he got that he was a hufflepuff and he freaked out he was like yelling he was like so excited that he got it right and then i retook mine and i got a ravenclaw in my defense the questions were different so i think the other one was like 100 percent wrong especially when i was reading the description i was like yeah i know there's no way so i then looked for this polish because i knew it existed and i was like oh my god now i really want the Ravenclaw polish and the Hufflepuff so as of now I have Ravenclaw from Glam Polish it's so beautiful it looks so much prettier in person than it did on the picture so I'm very very excited to try I don't I don't want to use it yet until I get Hufflepuff so it's just on hold for now and then my last polish is so special to me because um, I have a group of friends that we chat over on Facebook and one of them I think was the one who started this whole thing but she sent so okay let's start from the beginning um what's the name of this brand V's business lacquer V's knees lacquer oh my god why can't i pronounce it V's knees lacquer i can't anyways this company is doing a like act of kindness thing where you purchase this like for free you just pay shipping 
and you're able to send like a little surprise to anybody who you like think needs it so you're basically just getting a random polish i don't know if it includes any other items but for me one day i randomly checked my mail and i got him one because one of my friends sent me one and i was so excited so we were doing like a chain of sending like one another um a act of kindness so i thought it was beautiful i got judge witch which i love it's purple like what are the odds that i get a purple polish and like a biggest purple lover ever so it's really pretty and i haven't tried this brand before like hence why i can't pronounce the freaking name so i'm very excited to do so um i don't think i'm going to be doing a purple mani in quite some time just because i just did purple like two weeks ago and it was like a very heavy purple so i think i'm gonna like just put pause on that and try the other polishes that i have i have like a huge collection i mean okay don't think that i have like one of these nail lovers like nail accounts type of amount like i don't like i was just watching kelly maritza yesterday and she did like a whole uh, nail polish collection organizing thing and she has 2000 polishes like that's insane to me like i know obviously she gets most of them uh for her channel which is like solely on nail polish which that's not what i'm trying to do here um so it makes sense for her but i have quite a few i'm not sure if i have like 200 but maybe i do I'm not sure but yeah what was, what was i getting with this oh so i want to try out some of the ones that i haven't used yet before i try my new one so i want to go back to like the oldest ones i do have the old like the entire kale polish collection so there are still a couple shades that i haven't tried so maybe i do like a skittle mani i don't have anything right now i'm naked but maybe i do a skittle mani with other colors so i'm able to like go through them quicker and then once i do that then i'll move on to like my newer ones so yeah that's the plan stay tuned to see if i actually stick with it And then my last purchase, which I'm surprised is my last one. I feel like I'm missing something else, but I don't know. I'm like looking around to see. Maybe I have it like on display already. Um, but I purchased this. I've been eyeing this forever. It's called a Polaroid Mint Pocket Printer. So right before we went on quarantine, no, actually months before that, I was hanging out with my with one of my best friends, and she was mentioning how she got one of those little cameras that he printed and instead of printing a polaroid it prints like in a sticker form kind of thing and it's like very small so i saw it and i thought it was so so cute and i really wanted one but i wanted just like the printer because i do have a polaroid camera already are you okay you look cute <laughs> my boyfriend is playing right now um so i really wanted one but i saw it, it was like a hundred dollars i'm like this is not like a good price for me you know like I don't need it that bad so i'm just gonna hold on for that now and i did add it to my amazon wish list which everybody who has amazon you need to create a wish list and add everything there and just every so often go through your wish list and see if anything has dropped the price from when you originally saw it because it will show like the comparison there and that's like my favorite thing to do like before i go to sleep I just do a quick little amazon check and i just go through everything to see if anything has dropped price like i don't need to buy it right now but i just want to make sure that you're not 50 percent off and i'm missing it you know which is what happened here this was 50 percent off so how can i not get it so i got it <laughs> and it said it was going to be delivered like at the end of may but i received this like maybe in a week it, did, it wasn't two days shipping but it was like a week so that was very exciting and i haven't even opened it yet so i'm so excited to open it now i was waiting to show it on camera which maybe it was a bad idea because i don't know how to open this but the whole purpose of me wanting to get this is because I've been wanting to make stickers ever since I was born, I think. I was made to make stickers. It was just like the person that I am. And with my bullet journal, I wanted to do some Star Wars theme. Actually, no Star Wars theme. Oh my god, I'm getting distracted. I need to do one thing at a time. So I want to do for the month of May a Star Wars theme, which at this point you have already seen it because that's my next video that is gonna go live. And I don't know when this one is gonna go live. But I wanted to do a Star Wars theme for me because, you know, may the force be with you, of course. And I was just gonna purchase them from Etsy, but I saw that the ones that I really wanted were coming from China and they were gonna take a long time, I wasn't gonna hear on time. So I said, okay, fine, I'll just draw Baby Yoda like on my own, fine, like it's fine. Um, but if I have this, I can just print it and it'll be a sticker. I just have to like cut it around it, but like, oh, come on, that's fine. 
So I'm so excited to do that. Oh, ooh. it's so tiny. Probably the only person who is excited over tiny stuff, but oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I believe now that I don't have anything new. So that was everything. Thank you so much for watching and let me know on the comment section what was your favorite thing from this collective haul and also let me know if I'm the only one who's making like a crazy amount of purchases I don't think I am because I am obsessed with watching these collective hauls like quarantine collective hauls um, so if you're actually doing the same thing please let me know in the description no, in the comments down below I'm a little crazy right now I've done two videos so far today so I feel like that's taking a toll on my brain um, so let me know on the comments down below if you are also buying a crap ton of stuff and what is your favorite thing that you got in. And that's everything. So I'll see you on the next week.